Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be an eight hour test of the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This is in the color 207 Sand Beige. This is supposed to have a 24 hour foundation coverage. Uh, it's a radiant finish. It wears up to 24 hours. It coverage is medium, the texture is light, and basically what it says is that you are supposed to shake it and then apply it on the skin. Uh, I tried the, the beauty blender or a beauty sponge on one side, on the other one I tried the brush and the idea behind this video is this is my thought process when I'm trying a new foundation. This is the first trial of a new foundation. It usually takes me about 10 days just to make sure that a foundation actually is something that I would recommend you to try. And sometimes the products are so bad that I realize either the first day or after the two or three, four days that it's something that is not working for me, not because it breaks me out, but because I don't enjoy the formula or how it looks on my skin. So today I just want to share with you that process. You know, this foundation promises a lot of things, like 24 hours of coverage. Let's try eight and see how it looks at the end of the day. So if you're interested in all that, then just keep watching. So what I'm going to be doing is applying the Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer on the right side underneath the foundation and on the left side I'm just going to use the foundation by itself. Now with that uh, in mind it will give me a good idea at least for me how this um, foundation works with a primer and at the same time with a mattifying primer and see kind of the difference between one side and the other and how it wears throughout the day and also i want to see if it makes a difference on how my pores look whenever i use a primer and whenever i don't so the color that i got is the color 207 and as you can see i just barely open it and it seems like it's so liquid. Um, did a swatch right there. This is the color 207 Sand Beige. And that's the color right there. I don't know, of course my face, uh, it's lighter. So I'm gonna start applying it on my face and see if it does actually match. But I'm gonna dot it in my face and start to apply it. What I'm gonna be doing is applying it on the right side of my face with a beauty blender and on the... Okay, it does look lighter when I look straight in the camera, but if I go like this, you can see that it's the same color. It really doesn't have any difference. It's just because of the shadow that cast into my neck that looks like I'm more tan than I am. They apply weirdly. Uh, it's liquid, so you think that this is very, like, it will blend right into your skin, but it doesn't. Um, I had to blend for quite some time with the sponge so the skin would absorb and it would blend into my skin and not sit on top of my skin. Um, I don't know why but I feel like my pores look kind of weird in this area at this point. I'm going to do another layer I think because I don't like how it looks right now. It actually creates like a gray... I don't know if you can see it in camera, but I don't know. It's good, the color is good, but in some areas that sits on my skin, wherever I have dark uh, pigmentation, it looks a little gray. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on the, to the other side of the face and um, we'll see with the brush if it makes a difference, if it makes it blend better. Um, and we'll go from there. So I did use my buffing brush. I don't like how long it took me to blend it into my skin. And then I had to finish with my beauty blender because this doesn't warm up and go inside my skin. It sits on top of the skin just if, like if it... Like sunscreen, you know, the really heavy 
white looking sunscreen that you put on your face and it takes forever to be absorbed and that it makes your face look white that's exactly how I felt this foundation blended into blended into my skin I am not happy about the application maybe this will change throughout the day and it will be the most amazing foundation ever but as of right now I think that the application wasn't the best um, I think that the coverage you know it's medium coverage but I, I think I have medium coverage foundations that cover a little bit more especially in this area where I have a lot of dark pigmentation the dark pigmentation looks grayish than the rest of the face it doesn't look like gray but compared to the rest of the face it looks grayish um, and I don't like that I don't know about the glow do you see any glow I mean does it look glowy to you I look myself in the mirror and I don't see it when I look myself in the camera I can see a little bit of glow here and maybe a little bit here but other than that on the mirror right here I can't see any glow so maybe it's something that it's gonna develop throughout the day what I'm gonna be doing is kind of putting a little bit more into this area so I can get more coverage hopefully hopefully <laughs> and um, and I'm gonna see how I do because I don't know I feel like this foundation it just takes too long see on camera looks like it's blended but I don't know if you can see can you see the line right there I mean just with a few um, tabs of the beauty blender I usually am able to blend it but look it looks white Can you see how it looks different? It's taking some time. Can you see that whitish cast? And the rest of my face, it's a different color. I mean, that's how long it takes to blend. And I'm afraid that if I layer it, I'm gonna get more gray cast, but I'll never know unless I try it, right? So, yeah, it did layer. It did take some time to blend it. I mean, you saw how long it took me to blend into this area, which is a small part of my face. So hopefully you can get that the rest of the face. <laughs> it took me a lot longer. Mm, I don't think it gave me much coverage either. So I'm going to do the Spanish version. I'm going to try to blend around my nose and see if I can see a difference. And I'll get back to you on that. But I'll be back later and um, I'll let you know how I'm doing. Right now it's um, 7.37 in the morning. So um, I guess I'm not too excited as you can see, but let's give it a chance and let's see how this develops throughout the day. It's um, 3.36, so eight hours later. And I was checking my skin, and I don't know if you can see it. And the camera doesn't look that bad, but this is all shiny. And this part is shiny, shiny. And a little bit here. It rubbed off in this part right here. Mm, not so much in the chin, not so much glow, or... I don't know. It's just, I don't really like the look that it gave me. Now... The gray parts are better, they don't look gray anymore, they look blended and they just became, you know, the same color as the rest. But I feel like the greasy parts of my face are, have an extra glow that makes them extra greasy. And on this part right here emphasizes my big pores that I have in this area. So that's the one thing that I don't like. Now, if I compare one side to the other because of the primer that I used today, a mattifying primer, this didn't do anything. The pores even look worse on this side than this other side. Um, I mean, 
the coverage is still there I don't see that it's rubbing off in any other places than my nose which is normal for foundation but I don't like the look that it gives me it just it's just too oily and I'm gonna start to blot because you will be able to see that the coverage it's still there but I want you to see that you know see foundation but look at that I mean I could use a couple more of these it, it's just too greasy so I know that whenever I want more of a glow with a foundation I have glowy foundations like I like this one by gorgeous cosmetics and it gives me the go the glow from the get-go because this one the glow started with the hours when I first applied it it was matte and uh, so I don't know I've seen a lot of people loving this saying that it has an amazing glow and it does have an amazing glow on camera but if you look in the mirror in real life it looks greasy for me anyways and it, at the beginning it looked matte so I don't know if it starts to kind of play with your uh, skin and then starts the glow or what the deal is but I don't like that for my skin I feel like I look extra oily and even though I remove pretty much everything I can still see how my pores look really really big so I don't know if it's just the foundation or the oiliness of that part it was creating that effect I don't know what it is but I don't like it I feel like this foundation it may be good for people or it may be only for people with normal to dry skin so if you have even the tiniest combo like I do I don't know it didn't work for me I don't know if it's because the weather it's you know it's hot it's not too hot but it's hot but I just feel like it's too much it's just it's emphasizing the parts that I'm trying to hide and it's glowing on the wrong areas of my face it I, I wouldn't mind my cheeks or anything but you know this specific area right here it's what it makes me look the greasier so needless to say I don't like it this far if you have a different experience please let me know in the comments down below I don't like to finish this kind of eight wear test with this you know I don't like it but that's how it works you know this is my I have to go through a lot of products to find something that I do really enjoy so sometimes I just find that it's better if I kind of share with you my thought process while I'm trying different foundations um, as of right now I will continue to use it for the rest of the week and hopefully you know I will find a better way to use it I will find a different brush I will find something that is gonna make it look amazing but this far nothing worked for me not the beauty blender it's hard to blend into my skin it feels like a really thick uh, it, it's really thin but when you put it on your skin it feels like a really thick um, SPF or it, it's just I don't know everything everything that I don't like in a foundation I find it on this one so it's not the glow that it bothers me it's not the the greasiness or whatever you want to call it it's just where it is emphasizing and where it's kind of highlighting my face the problem with this foundation and the application it was a nightmare so for me it's a no um, as for right now if I change my mind and find the perfect way you will see it in a future video but for right now my first impression is that this is one of those products that it hasn't worked for me or that it doesn't work so I hope you enjoyed this eight hour test and I think that it doesn't matter how much I sit here and talk to you about a product watching the before and after the pictures and the application and everything is what it's gonna give you an idea if this is something that you need to try for yourself so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. <laughs>